Good morning guys. Welcome to Saturday. Today is the day of the clinic. The clinic is an opportunity to ride with a different trainer, an opportunity to learn something new, an opportunity to learn and grow as riders, an opportunity for our horses to experience something new, and that is always good. We got lucky in our time slot for the clinic is at 2 p.m. today, so we have a little bit of time, but you know with horses it takes a long time to get them ready for things, so we have to be at the barn today at noon. It's the crack of dawn and we are headed out. Where the heck are you going, Laura? I know you all are asking me that. Well, if you did not catch yesterday's video, then you might not know this. So this is a recap. The recap is that a few days ago, Sophia had a dream that our chiropractor was gonna come and that she was gonna cure my horse. My horse's issues are that she's really grouchy, she seems girthy, she just doesn't seem happy. And Sophia dreamed that the chiropractor came and she cured my horse. Now that seems super far-fetched, I know, and not everybody believes in dreams, but dreams work for me specifically. When people tell me their dreams or when I dream it, I always know, I often know that it is a message from God inside those dreams. So I always pay attention, I always pay attention. It might not be the same for you, but it is how it works for me. It's worked that way my entire life. I put so much belief and stock into my dreams. So Sophia had this dream and I was really excited but then I was kind of doubtful thinking like well what could the chiropractor actually tell me or do to Penny to fix her being an unhappy horse like it just seems like such a vague diagnosis what could she do that our vet has not been able to do so fast forward our chiropractor came and she looked at Penny and she looked at Penny's eyes and she said hey you know like her eyes are yucky and I said I know they're yucky and and she said you know the eyes are the are the gateway to the liver. The eyes are connected to the liver and in Chinese medicine, if the eyes are yucky, then lots of times the liver is yucky. And I said, wow, really? And she said, yeah, how's her temperament? And I said, she's angry. And she said, well, that's really interesting because anger is the emotion of the liver. The liver controls all your anger emotions. And I'm angry all Yeah, Sam, you need a liver detox. I mean, let me tell you, I said that too. I said to my friend, I think Sam needs a liver detox. So, I was like riveted and when she was talking I got goosebumps on me because I knew like it was a feeling this overall body sensation I knew God was speaking through my chiropractor he put the idea in my head from Sophia and then he was speaking to me through my chiropractor and I know that I'm meant to hear this message so I mentioned that she's that she's girthy and that was our big issue with her and that I I feel uncomfortable riding her knowing not knowing why she pins her ears when I squeeze her or why she pins her ears when she sees the saddle. And she said, you know, when the liver is misaligned that it puts pressure on the gallbladder or the pancreas, I don't know, some, some organ, it puts pressure on it. And that runs along the side of your horse. And horses that have a liver issue often present as girthy because it hurts when you push on their sides because of this other organ and I almost fell over I was like I said to her that's it that this this is gonna fix my horse I, I believe it with a hundred percent of my soul so we are up at the crack of dawn 9 a.m. as soon as we could get up and we're going to the tech store and I'm gonna buy the liver detox that she recommended such a simple fix she said try this liver detox I, I believe it you guys I believe that this is gonna fix my horse and I believe that I have a specific journey with Penny that I'm meant to share with you guys and I think it starts now I, I don't think it starts when I bought her I don't think it starts when I gave her a million medications and uh, my vet and I tried a hundred different things to try and make her happy I think our journey starts now I think it starts now Sophie's dream she dreamed that one time after the chiropractor came when I saddled her up she was still girthy and then after that she was never girthy again and I believe it and I am going to get the stuff and I'm really excited. I'm so excited to start this part of my journey with Penny and I'm so excited to have you guys with me because if this works, it could really help so many people. Do we have a big bottle of it? Man, I get goosebumps every time I walk in this store. Their best advertising outside is that they have like all these blankets up there. They have a blanket outside. I'm getting a blanket. That's basically all I gotta say. I'm getting a blanket. I found one that's really nice. Pray they have the right size. Is it? What's it called? I don't know. This is it. This is the blanket that I just got. It's a 300 
uh, fill and it's got the neck and it comes with it. It was $139. And I bought the liver flesh. They only had this small bottle. I don't know, maybe it's only gonna take this bottle. I haven't read how you give it yet. But my chiropractor was telling me that a lot of race horses, like it's the stress that causes the liver issue. It's stress. And a lot of race horses, have liver issues and that's why they get girthy and um so i was telling a lady in the tech store and then another lady told me that she buys specifically she orders in a brand this brand that's just pure milk thistle she said milk thistle works on the liver and that she has a customer that she orders it for and the reason he needs it is because he has a racehorse and the racehorse has belly problems all the time stomach problems all the time uh, because of the stress and that the milk thistle relaxes him, like fixes it. Yeah, I'm excited you guys. This is going to cure Penny and this is going to start our journey. This is going to... Imagine being in pain all the time if she is in pain. I don't I don't know yet. Like, But imagine having something making you uncomfortable all the time and then somebody's like, hey, let's go riding, let's go running. And you'd, like, imagine me saying to Sam who's got bad knees, let's go running. I used to say that to him all the time and he'd be like, no, don't make me. <laughs> <laughs> and I did anyways I made him I'm like it's healthy for you but really it's just because I didn't want to go by myself okay so then I also bought dun, 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 this repellent wrap wrap lamp you think this is going to be dangerous we've had it before every time you take it off your horse you're going to rub some on your hand no like we've used this before and never had a problem so basically we've used it before it never worked but I'm going to step up our 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 use of it. I'm gonna spray this on the blanket every single time Gabby takes off the blankets. I'm going to take the blanket outside and I'm gonna soak the sucker in this stuff. It's like a yucky, uh, peppery, like a hot thing, I think. It, it's not not nice for horses to, to bite it. So I'm gonna soak our horse's blankets in it and I'm gonna just spray. It did not work before, but we did not give it a strong enough effort. We just sprayed when we were there, like once a week. and wasn't our bottle we just borrowed it and so I didn't want to waste it but anyway this time I'm gonna soak the suckers and then we got the blanket and the neck for $139 and I just have to tell you the buying my horse blankets even though it's expensive and it sucks having to spend that money it's so fun like it's like dressing up your baby it's like so fun and um, taking this blanket home and showing Gabby and saying look what I bought your horse is also fun hopefully she likes it guys we got letters today from Amber from New Zealand somebody in Ireland Maria in New York and Alyssa in Florida. So I got this letter that doesn't have a return address. I just want you guys to know that when we get your letters, I read them. We read every single bit of them. We just don't always show them in the vlogs because there's not much time. Okay, so we're almost home. We did a couple more stops. We're almost home. And I it's 11.07. And Gabby needs to be, we need to leave the house at 12 o'clock to get to the barn and get ready to go to the clinic. So I say Gabby is in bed sleeping. And Sam says, what do you say, Sam? If she is up, it's gonna be a miracle, an absolute miracle. What do you guys think is gonna happen? All right, we're about to find out. Where's Gabby? Kitchen. Kitchen? She is up? And she is dressed? Did you eat anything? Did you eat anything? Holy heck, wait you see what I bought for Chino Bambino. I only had it in a size 81, but it's a heavyweight and it's really warm and it was a great price. There's, do you oh, like it? Is that a neck? So I figure we bring home his blanket because Isn't it's in an 81. Why didn't you get an 82? They didn't have the only neck size up is an 84, and they didn't have any. I wanted it, so you could probably fit an 84. I know. I was sad enough. That I know. I know. So that was the goal, but they didn't have it. Anyway, it's a really good price, so I bring home the blue one. I'm gonna repair it, sew the bum on for Storm, fix the neck, so Storm has the neck. Storm might not fit it though. Oh, he's pretty big. I think he'll be fine with it. And I bought the pepper spray. Okay. And we brought Gabby coffee because you know she'd be needing that energy. What time did you go to bed last night, Gabby? What time you told me to? What time I did? Yeah, 2 a.m. That was 2 a.m. It was actually 1. It was 1 50 something. It was 12 56. Uh, I asked Dad to look at the clock, and it was almost 2 a.m. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, you're disappointed you in didn't get You didn't get crab legs. Did you hear Sophia last night? What did Sophia do? Ah, ah! Sophia walks in her sleep, talks ah, in her sleep. I cracked my knuckle. She, she was talking in her sleep? Mm. What were you saying? But not actually talking. Screaming? No, just 
making sounds. Like, ah! I don't remember. What were you doing? I went to bed at 11. Good girl. Okay. You know I can't stay up though. Me too. So we have to leave in a few minutes. Our house is a disaster. But Not look fish. at all this meat that I got, you guys, or all this food. I have stuff at M&M. Um, and I bought all this because we're having a party. Look at this. What is that? Chocolate lovers variety Those are not packs. Nanaimo bars. I know. I was gonna get Nanaimo bars. Anyway, because meatballs. Are I got fish meatballs? Chicken strips for Kaylee. Oops, I shouldn't, wasn't supposed to say who our par party is with. But we are having. We are having us cream cheese stuffed those jalapeno. Look yeah. Terrible. Mm, your dad's gonna be loving those. Here's the Willow. Here's Gracie. Store. All right, so we also got a package from. Ooh, Finny. So somebody, some unnamed wonderful girl, sent us these Christmas ornaments of our horses, and oh, I love them. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hang them on my stall. You're gonna hang them on your stall. I'm gonna hang it on Finn's halter. Oh, it's a Christmas. Ornament. Look. You know, I they'll hang it on their stalls and they'll be all decorated. Oh, <gasps> that's such a good idea. Just like how I could put tinsel on the doors. Yeah. And Aww. then all the horses would be spooking. I love it. It is gorgeous. So we got Penny. We got Chino Bambino. We got Stormy Night. We got Willow. That's Gracie. And Finn. Finn and Willow. Willow. Like, that's awesome. All in our colors. Like, how amazing. Thank you so much for those. You were about to say Gracie for I know. I, listen, I got a lot going on, sister. Oh, Penny. I got something for you. Got all the ponies inside. Sam fed them lunch inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's curling up to the camera. Right. Like I never pro I never said I was an expert with horses. And bringing her out and putting her in the stall or in the cross ties would have been a lot easier. But I did it. I did it. Oh, I'm cold. All right. So I wanted to get that into her little body, get it started, because I'm probably gonna ride her tomorrow. Which is probably gonna be the time that she still is. Girthy has to go directly into the mouth and it has to be stored in the fridge. Oh, right, we're at the barn 
and they are making their horses I'm look just gorgeous. Trimming, them up a bit. trimming you up a bit. Oh, you got Elvis hair. Wow, so you did his bridal path. Did you use Gabby's new razor? Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know if we should cut this piece or not because it's long, but it's like really far back. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. So, oh, look it. You're supposed to go that far back. It looks kind of that far back. Hi. Yeah. I don't like it when it's cute. Yeah. Oh, well, just let it grow. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Hi, handsome. I literally came here. He's like, I like her. We put the vibrating razor on him and he was just like, ah. We, think we should get like the massage thing for oh, it. Oh, we should. Do they have a massage thing for this? Yeah, I saw What the heck? I saw an ad on Instagram. It's like a massage gun. You use it on your horses. Oh, I'll, I'll buy it. It looks good. I'll it buy it. We'll keep it in the barn and we can all use it. I think I might know what you're talking about. All right. It's like like a trigger gun, like yeah. like the chiropractor has. Yeah. What does the chiropractor have? She has like a little gun thing, and she shoots it into them. Shoots it into the high. I know. I'm the girl that usually has the treats. I got nothing. She. All of our horses think the camera. Think the camera is a treat. So skin was. Oh, okay, Finn took a photo of how he was. Oh, we don't have it. it. <laughs> Finn was afraid of the of the buzzers. Wow. Clippers wow. can't call them buzzers because people get upset. Gabby did Oakley's Gab too. Gabby, look at his legs and his feet. I know, I haven't. And his belly. Yet. All right, we'll get going because we got to get ready. Oh, it's cold. All Brandon said was that they got to be clean. Uh, I mean, this is as clean as you get because we can't really do legs unless we wash it and it's too cold for that. Yeah, definitely too cold for that. So this is as good as it gets. All right, so I think I've got all Gabby's stuff. I've got the bit, I've got the, the bridle, the martingale, the saddle. The girth, the saddle pad. What else do I need? These are my riding things. I don't know. Do you want to put them in our van and I'll yeah. just bring them? There you go. Okay. So you got your boots, your helmet, and my bag. Okay. Uh, is that all the stuff that you need? You better check it. Exactly what I want, I know exactly what I need. I'm talking like a machine. I know exactly what I want, I know exactly what I need, but do you get what I mean? Oh, what you looking at? What, what you looking at? We're watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I know, I love that about them. They're just standing in a row, watching. Okay, so. We actually got Storm on the, we got Finn on the trailer. He's not used to that kind of trailer. We didn't think about how he might take a little bit longer. He he plays us, he's standing there, standing there. We got carrots, we got treats. He kept pooping. He kept pooping. And Gabby was behind him with a whip. Tap, 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 tap. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, you are annoying me. And he hopped on top of that trailer, just like, whoosh, jumped right he up. to be like a bunny though. Yeah, didn't Two even try and back down, just hopped himself right in. He knew what we wanted. But anyway, we're off to the trail. We're off to the clinic. This is with a man. This guy's name is Patrick, I think. Somebody that's putting on a clinic for us and it's super awesome that we get to participate. All right, Finn, it's a big jump for those little legs. Just bunny hop off like you did. You can do it, Finny. Good boy. Good boy, he knows. Good boy. <laughs> I think I'll just stay in here. I'm in now. <laughs> Dang. He's like, I mean, there's food in here. Come on. Boy. Good boy. So, how, what did you think of the clinic? It was. It was short-ish. Well, Finn got used to different fillers. Yeah, I guess. Sophie's like, oh, lots of wind. Finn got used to some fillers. First time seeing fillers. Like, he wasn't jumping the way he normally Not jumps. His first time. But, like, the, the different fillers, like the yeah. gate thing underneath. So, he clearly looks at them. Like, he clearly well, does look at them. What if it could kill you? I didn't feel like Gabby didn't fall. There were a couple times I thought it was going to happen. Good job. How'd you? Him. Yeah, he is sweaty. Should, should, should All right, so what'd you think? Did you like him as an instructor? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how why Finn was bucking. Was he bucking? I wasn't bucking? even asking him to canter. I wasn't even touching him. He was just like. 
<laughs> he was kicking out. He was excited. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So was Oakley. So I don't know. Something weird. Here, let's give him some. As soon as you get that off, I got treats. I got treats for him. So, um, did you like the, the, the yeah. coach? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked him too. So, um, he can coach us. Yeah, so we, more. yeah, we, we might, it might happen. He might come and give us a few lessons. Because he actually explains. Yeah, you like it? Like he said, the only jobs that you have are to keep them straight and keep the canter going at the right pace. Those are it. Nothing else matters. And legs. Yeah, legs. Cantering at the right pace is legs. Yeah. No, well, anyway, it was worth it. It was fun. Now we gotta get Finny back on the trailer. You think he goes on the trailer easier this time? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Unless Ooh. he really wants to stay here because he likes staying here. Yeah, he's tired. He's, he he's on the trailer. Yeah. All right, I got some treats for the trailer. Okay, woo, it was cold. Uh, the clinic video is probably already up. We, we post our, vid our riding videos separately from our daily vlogs because it just keeps it easier that way. We were in our live. Gabby loved it. Sam and Sophie went live in the heated tacker in the heated room and uh, the girls are in love with the instructor and Kaylee's dad talked to him and said like, hey, we'd be interested in taking a couple extra lessons each really? week. Yeah, so he's gonna come. Hopefully, I'm gonna try and, we're gonna try and figure it out, but he might come and be another instructor in our arsenal of instructors. Like, isn't that, that'd be awesome. Like, it'd be awesome when you find an instructor that you really like, somebody that relates well to you, then you, you work with it. What happened? Well, Finn is a superstar. This time he just walked right in after Oakley, because he didn't want to walk, walk right in. So he just popped right on the trailer. Yeah. Oh, good boy, Finny. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way